Khas Dr. Molak which is a special recipe for Ganesh Chaturthi. So this Molak is made up of rice flour along with chana dal and jangri stuffed and steam cooked to perfection. So actually this is served as a prasad during Ganesh Chaturthi to Lord Ganesha to give his blessings. So let me show you how to make this chana dal stuffed. along with half teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of sesame oil just wait for few minutes till this water started to boil so once your water started to boil switch off the flame and we have to use this boiling wa boiled water with our rice flour to make a soft dough so in a mixing bowl take 3 fourth cup of raw rice flour or basmati rice flour so you could use it as a homemade or store bought one and to the rice flour we have to add the boiled water so don't add all water at one time you have to add water little by little to make it into a soft dough and since the water is very hot you have to use your spatula at beginning to mix the dough and then you can use your hand to make it into a nice dough so I'm just going to add water little by little and make it into a soft dough so now I'm just going to use my hand and uh, knead it into a soft dough. So make sure you are careful because it is very hot. So just knead for 2 minutes and then make it into a dough and cover it with a lid and rest for 10 minutes. So meanwhile we will proceed with making the stuffing for this. So to begin place pan on your stove and add half cup of jangri and uh, around uh, 2 tablespoon or 3 tablespoon of water keep your flame simmer you don't want to cook the jangri you just want this jangri to melt completely so keep your flame simmer and uh, just wait till your jangri melts completely and then transfer it into your sieve to strain or remove any residue or dirt in this jangri so here I have a bowl along with stainer and transport those melted jangri into this so while it is getting strained we will proceed with making the chana dal stuffing so to the same pan add 2 teaspoon of ghee half cup of freshly grated coconut so dry roasting your stuffing with ghee really makes your modak taste great. So make sure you are doing this process to get a delicious modaks. So just dry roast your coconut for uh, one minute. So here I have half cup of chana dal which is soaked in water for one hour and I pressure cooked for three whistles till they completely muzzy and then mash it using your masher. So you can either mash or put it in a blender and pulse for 3 to 4 times till they get coarsely ground and you can use it in this. So I am just added those mashed chana dal into the coconut and continue mixing it and cook for another 1 or 2 minutes till moisture from this chana dal evaporates completely. So after 2 minutes of cooking now my chana dal is thickened. So here I have one cardamom which is crushed. So add it. So you could also use cardamom powder. So to this I am going to add the stained jangri. So continue cooking it for further 
three minutes or uh, more than that till it thickens well so after uh, just two to three minutes of cooking the jangri and channa everything got thickened and this is how it looks just let it to cool down and make it into a small dumplings so here i have a uh, rice flour dumpling and also channa dal dumpling so uh, make sure that the dumpling you made with the rice flour is bit bigger than your channa dal stuff so that way you while eating you will take get both flavor so make sure that uh, the rice flour is bit bigger then your chana dal dumplings so now i will show you how to shape them so grease your palm with some ghee to avoid any sticking of this rice flour while shaping and then i am just going to take one dumpling and press it with your palm and flatten it using your finger by constantly rotating like this so if you are a beginner you may find it hard but uh, try it you will definitely get a nice shape like this so if you feel it is sticking you can even apply some more ghee to your hand so uh, finally you will get a even shaped and flattened rice flour like this so now i'm just going to place the stuffing at center and uh, take the edges like this and do like this so to get a nice shape so this is the second or third time i am making this modak so i'm not very expert actually in shaping this modak but uh, whether the shape is good or not the taste is going to be like a divine so <laughs> so the shape is not good i just don't mind it <laughs> okay so just do like this and uh, if you have a modak mode you can go ahead and use it that way you can make very quick and very nice looking modaks so after you have done it just grab all these inside like this and then you will get a nice shaped modaks like this this is how your modax looks like so continue doing it with the rest of your modax i mean with the rest of your rice flour and uh, stuffing and here i have my idli maker on the stove filled with some water and i'm going to place my idli plate over it you can either use your idli maker or your electric cooker anything which should be a steamer because we have to steam cook our prepared modax for at least 6 to 7 minutes so you can use any kind of steamer of your choice so i'm just using my idli maker and place all those prepared modak inside and cover it with a lid and cook for 6 to 7 minutes and then your modaks are ready to serve so serve this hot steamed modak with the melted ghee and uh, don't forget to serve to ganesha first and do your puja get his blessings and enjoy the smorak with your family so i hope you guys learned how to make this delicious and traditional way of making the smorak at home and if you have find this video helpful don't forget to give me a thumbs up it really makes me happy and do subscribe to my channel to get more authentic and traditional indian recipes thank you so much for tuning in see you guys soon with another interesting video recipe till then enjoy other ganesh chaturthi recipes from my channel and have a happy ganesh chaturthi bye bye and have a nice day